Hello and thank you for coming back to draw with me again today. So let's just put aside everything else that we've got going on and let's just spend 20 minutes doing a drawing together. Today we're going to have a go at drawing some corn and all you're going to need for today's drawing is a pen or you could use a pencil or whatever else you fancy. So let's just really enjoy the process of putting the lines down on the paper. Depending on your mood today you might want to work quite scribbly and quite fast or maybe you want to draw really carefully and slowly or maybe a bit of both. So just enjoy the process of making the drawing and don't put any pressure on yourself as to how it's going to look at the end. And remember just to draw along with me and don't try to draw like me. So we don't want to try and copy the picture exactly and you don't want to copy my drawing exactly. Just work alongside me and let's just do a drawing together and just enjoy. So go grab the materials you want to use today and your beverage of choice and I'll see you in a moment. So we're going to start with a warm up first of all, just a quick couple of minutes where we're going to try to draw this sweet corn shape and we're going to try to do it in one continuous line. So this is a great way of loosening up and just warming up before we start our drawing today. And once you put your pen down onto the paper to start to draw, then you can't take your pen off of the paper until you've finished your drawing. So it maybe will take just one minute to do this. So let's get our pens down and I'm going to start by drawing this sweet corn. And you're only going to have about a minute to do this, so there is not um, time to make this very precise. So just kind of looking at the image now and again. But also just keeping your pen on the paper. And let's not get too worried about what happens with this drawing. So you can draw slowly if you want to, or you can have it a little more scribbly, and you can put in some shading if you like, put a few more sweet corns in, or you can keep it all in line. So we'll just draw for another, say, 30 seconds or so. So if you have to take your pen or pencil off the paper, if you feel like you have to stop and rest, then just bear with me. I'm going to just do a few more lines on mine, maybe a little bit of shading. And we'll stop there. So when you know you're only going to draw for a minute or two, it's not too tricky to be able to keep your finger, your pen on the paper. But when we're going to draw now for the next sort of 15 minutes or so, I'm not going to expect you to leave your pen on the paper the whole time, but we are going to try and draw, draw with quite continuous lines. So I've got slightly more close-up version of the sweet corn and we're going to have a go at drawing now and maybe a little more detail than the one that we just did and just slowing down again not worrying too much about the outcome but really enjoying just making some marks on the paper and it's up to you where you start but I'm going to start like I did with the first one and I'm going to start with just trying to put in some of the sweet corn shapes but this time I'm going to take a bit more time over it and like I said although we're kind of talking about continuous line you can take your pen off the paper anytime you want really but it's quite nice just to let your pen just keep moving around and so some of the sweet corn shapes are quite long and thin and some are round so as I sort of pause to look at the picture for a second I might just hold my pen where it is and I might go a little bit 
away from my drawing as I glance my eyes over to the image. So I'm not really worried about that at all. And as with the first drawing, if you want to draw quite quickly, you can do, and quite scribbly. Or if you want to draw really carefully and deliberately and slowly, that can be really good for just helping you just to take your focus onto your drawing and really just focusing on the marks that you're making but it might just depend on the mood you're in today. So like I said you you need to stop and take some rest otherwise your arm might get very tired doing continuous lines so just stop whenever you want and take a little rest. So just remember the most important thing here is not to draw a really precise, careful sweet corn cob, but to enjoy a little bit of relaxation and enjoyment in the drawing process. So I'm just changing the shapes of the little sweet corn as I get closer to what I think is going to be the edge and the top of my corn. Now I'm going to start to put in some of the leaf shapes a little, just so I can think about where I might fit my corn in around it. I'm going back over some of these, mostly because I'm really enjoying making these nice curved marks, but also because I feel like I'd like to make them a little darker around the edges some places.
So putting the leaves around has given me the chance to make different lines and the marks with my pen. I'm just putting the lines in different directions as I see them on the image. So you're not tied at all to trying to make this look like the image, but just glance your eye every now and again over at the picture, just to give you some ideas of how you might lay your lines out. And just to help you to think about the different directions that you might put your lines in. And so all I'm thinking about doing now is perhaps putting in some more darker areas by just making some of my lines more dense.
So I'm just thinking about some of these areas as being very hard to see actually how the light hits the corn. So I've just sort of put those in. I almost ended up filling in my little continuous line circles. So when you're happy that you're done with yours then you can just skip to the end to see the last part but just work at your own pace and if you like to work today with very slow careful lines then this might take you a little longer. And if you have some um, watercolour paints and you've done this in viral pen then you could layer some watercolour over the top of this. That would look really, really nice that way. Or even some coloured pencil over the top of the biro. But I think for today, I'll leave my continuous line drawing, or nearly a continuous line drawing. I'll leave it there. So thank you for joining me to draw today and I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'd really love to see all of your drawings. So you can share them with me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter at The City Workshop. All the details are below. And I really hope you'll come back and draw with me again tomorrow. So I'll see you then.